So I'm Gopal Ramcharan. Uh, I'm a computer scientist by background. Uh, I specialize in artificial intelligence and uh, I'm a professor of AI at the University of Southampton in the School of Electronics and Computer Science. My research for the last 20 years has looked at how we build uh, systems that are intelligent uh, and uh, can work in very dynamic and uncertain environments. And over time, in the last 20 years, we've realized that these systems need to interface and interact with humans, either as, as machines, as robots, or as apps, intelligent apps that you might use on your phone, uh, or in highly complex cloud-based systems. And they need to interact, interact with, with humans in, 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 in very different, di different applications, in very complex setups. And uh, the, the issues these, these systems bring up uh, are quite difficult and challenging to, to address from an ethical perspective, um, from a technical perspective, from a regulatory perspective. And uh, one of my roles uh, is as a director of the UKRI Trustworthy Autonomous Systems Hub. We are trying to address some of these issues of trust and trustworthiness in these systems as part of a range of projects. So the program started um, two years ago and uh, we now have a range of projects in healthcare, autonomous vehicles, defense security, um, and industry 4.0. During my career, I've interacted with policymakers and not quite initially understood why why we should do that, where where the benefit is uh, to them, to the to, to, to the world, and to to, to my research. Um, and I've come to realize that um, it is a feedback loop. So a lot of the research we do um, is about creating new kinds of systems, new kinds of technologies that will impact on our daily lives. And uh, very often, policymakers are not. Uh, either aware of or need to be told about or need to be informed about you know, the, the, the new emerging challenges that, that our technology brings, uh, brings with it. So uh, a lot of my interactions with policymakers is about uh, exposing them to these new challenges, these emerging challenges, advising them on what uh, might happen if we deploy, for example, um, autonomous vehicles in, in, in cities or if we deploy swarms of unmanned aerial vehicles in in uh, in in uh, civilian airspace, um, and 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 helping them work through the policy implications or the the, the, the societal implications of these technologies, so that they can define uh, policy or at least inform our our policymakers about you know, what 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 can be done and and where more research needs to be done or action needs to be taken on the ground, so interventions on the ground to to address some of the issues that are raised by by these technologies. So my engagement with policymakers has been quite uh, um, uh, has evolved over time uh, so we have learned how to present this information to them how to engage with them to uh, help them formulate policy and that means you know for example presenting at events uh, um, in in london uh, or um, or responding to uh, policy consultations uh, organizing events uh, where we bring policymakers and researchers together as part of the work that I do, for example, uh, as part of the UKRI Trustworthy Autonomous Systems Hub. And at those events, we get them to think together and respond to queries from the researchers and, 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 and vice versa from uh, the policymakers to the researcher to see how we should work together to uh, formulate better policy um, and then uh, go on to fund further research uh, that would address some of the new and emerging challenges. My work is, is, is to do with uh, coordinating with uh, a number of universities, uh, coordinating with the funders, coordinating with our international partners to try and deliver a program of projects that will address um, new emerging and emerging challenges in a, in a range of sectors when we, uh, where we're trying to deploy autonomous systems of all kinds, whether they are robots or um, intelligent applications uh, residing on your phones or in the cloud, um, or that uh, manage our transportation systems, for example. And uh, the, the, the Trustworthy Autonomous, Autonomous Systems Hub coordinates with six other large uh, research projects called the, the nodes, um, and we call it the TAS nodes because uh, TAS is uh, short for Trustworthy Autonomous Systems, and uh, a number of other smaller projects. Um, and uh, over the last uh, two years, we've been uh, funding uh, a range of projects within the hub 
um, and with other universities that are not currently funded by the TAS program um, to come together and bring the best uh, research groups from around the UK to apply their different disciplinary perspectives on the challenges of building trusted and trustworthy autonomous systems. We talk a lot about interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary research, but Task Hub for me uh, symbolizes interdisciplinary research um, uh, from the core, its core principles and its core um, processes. So we ensure that every project that is funded or uh, supported by the Task Hub brings together more than two disciplines um, and very different disciplines. So the social sciences, um, engineering, the computer sciences, uh, human factors, um, law, uh, all coming together to address these, these big societal challenges that emerge when, when you try to deploy autonomous systems of all types in, in, in the real world. Um, and it's a difficult one because um, trust is not uh, is not something that uh, has a standard definition. Everyone defines it differently depending on on the discipline they, they, they come from. So we've we initially struggled to, to, to get to get the community to come together to, to decide on what it means to do research on trustworthy autonomous systems. And over time we've worked it out and, and, and hopefully now coming to a point where the researchers can engage with each other, um, using a common language and understanding of what we mean by autonomous systems. Um, so systems using AI, machine learning technologies or automated uh, decision-making systems that, that uh, make decisions on behalf of humans. Um, but also what definitions of trust that allow us to then <coughs> unpack some of the socio-technical issues around the regulation uh, of these systems, the, the, the human interaction with these systems, uh, or um, the, the engineering of these systems. Um, what our ambition is, is really to try and, and, and uh, get an international perspective on the best practices for trustworthy and trusted autonomous systems. And we can only do that by working with partners from across the world. And the, the, re the real reason uh, behind trying to sort of building that, um, uh, that, that global uh, view of trustworthy, trustworthy autonomous systems is, is that you can't build systems that are uh, going to change people's lives unless um, you address the differences in culture that exists across different countries, the differences in uh, regulation, the difference in standards, the difference in, in uh, understandings and, and interactions of, of uh, humans or between humans and machines. Speaking from personal experience, um, uh, you know, academics are you know, not originally, not 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 trained to to think about uh, engaging with policymakers, um, and uh, in order for them to see the value in engaging with policymakers, it's important to to sort of think about the the reasons uh, for doing the research in the first place. Why are we doing research? And that's the kind of questions I ask myself. Why am I doing this research um, for the last twenty years? What is going to be the impact of this research? And uh, we mostly talk about impact in terms of industrial impact. You know, how do we create new products and, and technologies? And, uh, and that's how impact is, has typically been measured um, uh, when it comes to research. But we need to think more broadly about impact. Uh, and uh, that's where policy is an important uh, uh, pathway to impact for all of us researchers. Um, and it is something that is uh, accounted for and, and, and valued by the research councils. So research should be mindful of that and, and, and talk about it and, and engage with the policymakers to, to ensure that they demonstrate the impact of their work on policy. Uh, and not just in terms of shaping policy in the sense that you, know, you create new policy interventions based on the, the findings of your research, but also stopping policymakers from making the wrong decisions, right? So stopping policies that would um, negatively affect you know parts of society for example so I think my advice to research is to think carefully about what what impact they want to have on the world um, if research is meant to impact on on, on our well-being on the economy on uh, on uh, our personal freedoms then we need to ensure and I think the the, the main way we're going to achieve uh, these sorts of impacts is by engaging with policymakers and industry at the same time so um, and then there are many me mechanisms to do this and many opportunities to do this. It's just a question of, of looking for it. Mm -hmm.